afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Suzanne Bertman, and I have the honor of serving as president of Impact 100 this year. Can everyone hear in the back? Yes. I have a little mic problem for a moment, but I think we're set to go. I want to thank all of you for coming today. It's a very, very exciting day for Impact 100 to have our seven finalists selected. And the only day that's more exciting is on April 19th when we award the grants. And I'm pleased to say that all seven people will receive something. Uh, as you know, this year we have over, well, you don't know this, but I'm about to announce it. <laughs> we have over 430 members this year. We haven't got the final number yet. But what that means is that we will, again this year, give four $100,000 grants and then because Impact gives away every dollar of the thousand dollars that our members uh, give to us, the runners up will also receive whatever portion of that 30,000 unknown number yet. Uh, we divide that among the, in this case, the, the, uh, four, the three runners up. So everyone will walk away with a check in their hand. And I know our finalists are all hoping that they're one of the ones with the $100,000 check. and. Um, you know, there are such great applications this year, such great finalists that I couldn't, you know, it'll be hard to choose. It'll be hard to choose for our members. Um, I, again, want to thank all of you who are here, and especially the uh, finalist selection committee that met all day yesterday from uh, a little before 8 o'clock in the morning until about 6 o'clock in the evening, going through each and every one of these grants again. You know, they, those of you who are here representing your organization know that all the grants are vetted by a, a panel of our members. And there's a panel chair and a financial consultant who is a, a CPA. I mean, these grants are looked at so thoroughly. Impact 100 grants over the nine years we've been in existence are now thought of, if you win one, that you've got the good housekeeping seal of approval <laughs> because we don't make it easy for you to, uh, to go through the grant process. It's, it's a very, very uh, thorough process. But again yesterday, we all looked at them once more, and then we uh, voted and uh, came down to the seven finalists that will be announced today. Uh, I, we have some press people here today, and I want to thank them for coming. We have Janet Begley from uh, the Press Journal, and uh, we have Stephanie LeBoff, who's representing 32963. And I don't know if our luminaries uh, person has arrived yet. Uh, but we're very pleased and thankful and appreciate your being here today to announce this good news. Also, uh, we have a sponsor today, Vero Insurance is sponsoring this event, and Jeff Sherling is not here quite yet, but we had hoped that he would be able to say a few words to you, so later in the program when he arrives, we'll, uh, you know, we'll just change our agenda a little bit. I want to now uh, you know, uh, introduce to you the person who has been in charge of the grants, Wanda Lincoln, and I cannot thank Wanda enough. Wanda is, uh, you know, kind of my mentor in grants. I used to be in charge of grants, and I, I just can't tell you what a fabulous job she has done. She has been with Impact for a long, long time. I also know her through Quail Valley Charities. Uh, no, <laughs> Wanda, that doesn't. Oh, oh, no, no. And really. Wanda and Laura McDermott, who is head of membership, and you know, these are the two most important things we have. If we don't have members, we can't give grants. And these two women, because of uh, their willingness to serve an extra year this year with Impact, have made all the difference in the world to our success this year. And I just want to give them a big round of applause for what they've done. pleasure to uh, introduce Wanda to you and she'll go on with the show. <laughs> Thank you, um, this is so exciting, um, mainly because to me it's the, the culmination of a really a lot of work by a lot of people. And I want to, I just want to introduce the people and as I introduce you, uh, if you're here you'll just raise your hand. I'd, I'd have you stand but there's so many people we've missed cocktails. So, uh, the, the first major group that begins to meet um, right away in, in, uh, in the summer and works continuously is something called the Grants Committee. And that's Karen Mursky, 
Okay, right here. Karen Mursky and Susie Locke and Brenda Citrillo and Marty Evans and MJ Thompson and Lori Lazorek. Lori couldn't be here today. She had to fly to Switzerland. She, she will automatically be penalized. <laughs> and the second, the second group um, that works tirelessly, not as long, but much more concentratedly, are the women who, I'd like to say, volunteer or have their arm twisted um, to be the person who is called a panel chair. They are the person who is in charge, the people who are, the women who are in charge of the panels, who are the initial vetters of the grant. They, they structure the site visits, they have their meetings. Jean Becker and Brenda Citrullo, and we've got to get Brent, Brenda's really special kudos because she's on the grants committee, but for the first time this year, we had a panel chair, and I was so excited. We had all five of our panel chairs. We were ready to go. And then one of our panel chairs just moved to Nashville. So Brenda stepped in and uh, did a fabulous job as panel chair, which she had done before, but that's dual role. So kudos to Brenda. Cindy Gallant in front, and uh, Gladys LaForge. There you are. And Kathy Starr. So the next group that did an incredible job this year um, are what we call our financial advisors. How many of you know that it's, for yourself, how many of you would just sit and read um, financials for fun? <laughs> Not a whole lot. But we have a group of women who volunteer to do that financial work. And it's so important because they vet your organization. Can you see how we count on these women? And then they vet the program itself. So those two vettings are so important. And that they, they then um, inform and uh, the, the, the panels about exactly the strength of the organization and the viability and sustainability of the project that is being presented. And that's Susie Callender and Pam Harmon, Miss Pam, uh, Alice Johnson, yes, and Sherry Colo, Sherry So, and Pam Price. We have, in, in our process of, of getting to this day, um, we have a process where the panels themselves, the women who you just were introduced to, they say, these are the best grants coming out of our panel. From our visits, from our reading, these are the best grants. Because the goal, the goal of the whole grant process is to present the very best grants to our membership. That's our responsibility. That's what we do. That's, and that's what we're charged with. So then those grants are presented, as Suzanne said, and they were presented yesterday by a group of women who took a big risk. They presented the grant to 24 women. <laughs> and there were some knee knockings, but nobody fainted. Everybody did a very, very fine job. I've been on the um, final selection panel since the very, very beginning, I think with Becky, um, that we, and these presenters were prepared they were eloquent, they answered the questions, they knew the grants, they did a fabulous job. And they, those women are Colleen Brennan, Susan Hobb, Lolita Janke, Monica Jennings, Deirdre Kovalias, Jan Ford, uh, Phyllis Reeves, Mary Lita Sheehan, Diane Stenzel, Mary Tomlinson, Pilar Turner and Alan Vandermeulen. Lenora Ritchie, some of you know Lenora Ritchie. Um, she facilitates um, our, that, that, that final vetting. Um, and we, we feel that she is um, so vital to what it is we do and the final decisions that we make because she's not a, not a uh, Impact 100 member. She comes to this with fresh eyes. She comes to it with 
a vocabulary of facilitation and a way of helping us to think things through in a very mindful way. There's um, a couple other people I want to introduce because it's really part of the grant process. When the grants are awarded, the four what we call impact grants for 100,000, they become our community partners. And that community partner is then you are a part of the family that works through uh, the last piece of the grant process. Judy Pascio, you want to stand up, Judy, because they, they need to know who you are. She has done a marvelous job of restructuring the contract and, and really making sure that our members' dollars are spent in exactly the way that they should be spent. And she also has uh, two people that, uh, Bonnie Wilson and um, Bernadette, Bernadette Longden, who will we'll work with her on that. Are you ready? There are some people in the room that know that if they're one of the finalists because you got a call yesterday. <laughs> um, I also want to say that there were 16 grants submitted this year. Um, seven and seven are finalists. I will say that um, these 16 grants were what I would call good grants. As I was reading, we, we get them all coming in in November. And as I was reading through, actually, <laughs> the night before they, ha they come in, they're all delivered. I don't sleep. Because I, if I sleep, then I have, a, I have a nightmare where nobody submits a grant. <laughs> and then, I get so nervous. But 16 came through. And, and they were, as, as a whole, a very, very good set of grants. But here are the seven finalists and their projects. Uh, this is alphabetical. The Alzheimer Parkinson Association for a project called Dementia Friendly Community Initiative. Yes. Ballet yes. Bureau Beach for a project called Nutcracker on Indian River. <laughs> Child Care Resources for a program called, that sounds like the Academy Award. <laughs> well, it is really the Academy Awards, but my thought you're not. Um, credentialing program for early educators. <laughs> the Hibiscus Children's Center for a project called Healing Children Through Careers, the Graphic Design Impact Center. I thought that was kind of clever how they were used the word impact in there, but that was it. Um, Indian River Healthy Start Coalition, Indian River County Healthy Start Communi Community Doula Program. And if you don't know what a doula is, where's Andrea? She'll be in this area, and she will explain that. <laughs> Very Orca, which is the Ocean, Ocean Research and Conservation Association, for a project called the Living Lagoon Program. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, is Tykes and Teens. Uh, for a program of infant mental health. So, those are our seven finalists. We, we're very grateful that you're here. We're very grateful for all the work that, that these women put in. We're very grateful that um, for the 430 some women who um, who give their thousand dollars, so that we we are fortunate enough to be able to give that away. And so I thank you. I thank you for coming. I thank you for submitting the grants. And um, now back to Susan. Thank you again, Wanda, for really all the work in your committee. It's amazing what you all do. And thank you again, Laura, for getting us enough members so that we can give these grants. You know, I have to just say myself, I've always loved matching gifts and collective giving. I mean, I can't give $400,000, but I can give my $1,000 and watch it grow and grow and grow. 
and I think all the women in Impact 100 just, you know, we feel so thrilled at the idea of collective giving. And impacts are growing all over the United States. We had this year a global conference. We called it an international conference because, as I said to one of our winners uh, tonight, we have two chapters in Australia. <laughs> so it makes us international. But it's wonderful to share with other impacts what they're doing. Uh, and I, I would just like to say about Impact 100 in Indian River County, many of the impacts come to us because we have, because we've had wonderful leadership throughout our nine years. Our 10th anniversary will be next year. Uh, we are fortunate enough to have such good written policies and procedures, and we share that with other impacts when they ask us. Pensacola helped us when we began, and we help impacts all over the country with uh, our information. And we have a great process when uh, people, you know, when my term is over. This year we had the pleasure of having three Suzannes on our board. And so it was just so wonderful that we decided to make the next year's president also named Suzanne. So it gives me a pleasure to introduce to you right now Suzanne Carter, who will be uh, president of Impact next year. She's president-elect right now. Suzanne. Too. <laughs> um, well, I'm just here to kind of wrap things up. I think um, I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, I think that this group is, you know, really the hardest working group, part of the hardest working group of Impact 100. And uh, I know when I was on the grant committee, it really cemented my commitment to Impact 100. I think uh, it's easy to write a check and then just go on your merry way. I said, but you know, to really feel a connection and a collaboration, I think this epitomizes it right here. And um, so I want to thank the, uh, the grant panel people very much. But I also want to thank the nonprofits because you know, you've given us the opportunity to work with you and to really learn from you what you do because we wouldn't really have that opportunity otherwise. So thank you all around. And um, wine, I'm not sure if we're outside, inside, Judy Pescio, enlighten me. <laughs> I think they're just going to move the chairs and there'll be waiters passing wine and probably, and there's some uh, food over here. Okay, so again, finally, thanks a lot and um, have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs>